That's unbelievable. <laughs> Ooh. I'm, I'm still like shaking. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> And whoever likes it, you will be super happy about this box. I really love it. It, it should be illegal, period. Definitely, I will not use Sport Plus today. I ain't no more touching that thing. Hi guys, this is Martin, aka Martin the Vlogger. And today's video is a video that I'm really looking forward to. We will talk about this pedal commander that you can get on a slingmos.com aftermarket website or shop for all of the slingshot freaks and Riker riders and spider riders and also this video is not only you know me uh, I'm a I'm a owner of the beast BRP Canon Spider F3S probably the most recognizable F3S in the world and today's video is not only for F3S owners the total commander or, or pedal commander uh, and the video that I'm doing is basically for all slingshots owners, Riker owners and all Canem Spider owners with the 1313 engine because the Commander is available for all of you guys and you can get it on the slingmods.com. The link to the product is directly in the description and if you are super lazy and if you are watching on a mobile or laptops, there is a link that is popping up directly to my page and there are the links from where you can get it. And why you are in my flat, it's because of one very simple reason. This intro I don't have to do in front of my bike, in front of the beast, because it's super hot outside and I'm using the power of AC. Anyway, um, I will tell you what you will find out in today's video. Here are just few things, you know, I'm working on super cool t-shirt. It's gonna be right it like you stole it, super premium t-shirt. I'm putting so much energy into it and it's gonna be super cool very shortly on MTV shop and there are a few things that I'm, I need to ship like badges, brake eyes and trick for the nanny yeah before I will really do the unpackaging and tell you what uh, what you will find out in today's video very briefly what's the panel commander about in case you haven't read anything about it in case you don't know uh, shortly it is like you know, it doesn't matter if you're, again, slingshot owner, Riker or Canem Spider owner. Uh, when you hit the throttle, when you hit the pedal, uh, there is a, a gap between, you know, once you hit the throttle until the engine really gives you the response. The bike, the sensitivity, you know, it's not only like the bike goes like the response is right there like like you hit it and it's there like instantly like period all power there so like that's it's unbelievable feeling so ever since i will i have read about this crazy thing i start to realize that there is really a big gap between I, when I hit the throttle till the engine starts to really work. And especially, you know me guys, probably. Uh, mostly I ride it like you stole it. And uh, yeah, uh, for me, I have a smile on my face. I, I can't really wait to, to put it on the bike. Uh, what you will see in today's video, uh, we will do very quickly on packaging. I will go to the garage, I will sweat like a pig and we will do the installation. They say it's a, it's a plug and play. So it should be very simple. I will put the mic into my helmet. I will go somewhere uh, on a private road so I can do all my crazy stuff, you know? And uh, I will not use it till that moment. So you will feel like you will have the experience of, of me riding with it for very, very first time. What we will also do, I will have a look on this Bluetooth because you are able to switch the modes because you have like one, two, three, you have four modes, uh, which is EQ that I will never use. Uh, then there is a city, which I will also never use. Then there is a sport. So on my lazy days, I will use sport probably. And then you have something that is called sport plus, which they say it's for race days or, you know, when you are on the, on the circuit or it, they should call it actually Martin the vlogger style of riding. Uh, I don't know why they call it sport plus, but it, there should be definitely MTV logo right over there. You know, this is quite crazy. Actually, this is one thing I'm, I'm kind of, I don't want to say worried, but uh, that's one thing, like you have four modes, basic modes, and then you have, every mode has like eight, like 
eight different options how, how the pedal will react in every single mode so it's plus four minus four Whew, I think it's quite a lot of options but you know let's see how it will work uh, I just don't like when somebody gives you too many options but I believe it's like somebody will just choose a couple of them and you will mostly use it oh by the way in case you are not a subscriber in case you know you like traveling videos in case you like this kind of testing videos and crazy writing have a look around my channel subscribe to my channel have the notifications on because every time i make a video you are notified and now really enough of this let's get started so the unpackaging uh first thing that really comes to my mind is like in case you guys in you guys in america you like the military stuff and whoever likes it you will be super happy about this box i really love it it's a great idea i like it so this is how it comes uh, here is the the manual it's quite a general manual but very a lot of useful information so that's a nice thing and again military stuff kind of packaging and let me see no oh. okay this is quite serious stuff all right this is the commander itself you know some plastic tape that's fine that's probably a twin tape for the commander itself and this is something for cleaning yeah i thought so it's not gonna be anything like cool all you need basically so the installation should be quite easy all we need to do is remove this side panel this panel is nothing uh, on the side of the bike where is the throttle so let's get started so basically you have here uh, three pins all you need to do is plug these pins to the correct one uh, the bottom one is the correct one these two i have no idea what they are for but they are way too big so the bottom one is the correct one all right and if you're asking like how this can work i did it by force but basically there is something like a you know like rail so you should be able to put push it that way so then it will unclick well i haven't done it but uh that way it was by brutal force but it's still good All right, so the installation, uh, definitely it's a plug and play because that's all you need to do, plug and play. But it's kind of, you know, pain to, to get it through that small holes. I was not able to do it from the right side. So what I did, I went on this side and maybe a small trick, don't try to push it with, uh, with the commander all the way up, uh, you know, rather try to, you know, Put the cable first up like this and try to pull it and that way that way it may work or it will work it's super early in the morning super cold here you are on a helmet actually and we have a pedal commander right over here and we have a beautiful private track right over there and one important legal note it's not me who's gonna be riding it's not the beast on the video so guys welcome on board uh, this is what we're gonna do what I like and especially for the purpose of this video is that when the pedal commander it's completely off uh, the bike or the throttle behaves absolutely the same way as it is in stock so let's heat up a little and uh, let me show you what the what the beast can do or what the random bike can do all right let's go King. There you go. <laughs> All right. And try to watch for the for the for the throttle. Uh, like when I hit it, when bike starts to accelerate. Boom. Are we breaking? There you go. I mean, 
I can tell you one thing. If the battle commander will be working, it's going to be completely crazy. looking forward to so let's turn it on that city there that's something we don't want to do power button power button so we have sport mode there and let's put plus four so you have eight modes every time in each mode <laughs> this is gonna be a like real first time experience which you will experience now so <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's like, are you sky crazy, man? That's, That's unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, like, that sick. <laughs> That's unbelievable. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Forget about any kind of upgrade you can do. I mean, this is this is not normal. This is crazy. I mean, like, forget about eco flash. Forget about oh, f that's oh Jesus. <laughs> forget about anything. <laughs> I cannot control it. it that, that's really bad. I mean, this is this is really bad. I mean, like really bad. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Okay, now let's 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 remove it. Let's reduce it because that's really. I mean, like that's crazy. So the bike goes. I mean, like once you just slightly hit hit the throttle. Have a look. Like we'll wait till the corner is over. Oh, it's even. It's super hard to even. I mean, later on when you're there already, uh, it's not that significant. But have a look. Just, just, just. Oh, just a tiny. Just, just really a tiny movement, and your boy goes, and it's just. All right, guys. Um, you know I'm super crazy, but you know what? I will tell it to you in a minute. I will go all the way up to the to the hill, and I will tell you what I feel. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, jeez. I'm still like shaking. Uh, I was I was super brave when I told you yesterday that always I will be riding in the Sport Plus, in the Stage Four or whatever it is. No way. That that's sick. I need a lot of practicing because I even didn't enjoy the road. <laughs> Probably I will need to go back to something like a Sport and be at uh, I don't know maybe at zero. And that would be something like I can really cope up really now. Uh, of course, I will go on a straight road and I will show you like, oh geez, I'm still shaking. <laughs> uh, I will go on a on a on a straight road and I'll show you how it can accelerate. But guys, I mean, really, like uh, I don't know if you have enjoyed it or if you haven't enjoyed the ride. I'm really sorry, but I'm speechless. I thought it's gonna be cool but I, I simply just can't can't tell you like this is completely different bike really like like forget about any kind of eco upgrade i mean this is not cheap thing it costs like 400 bucks or something worth every penny i mean <laughs> i'm gonna for one more ride guys i know like I can just, you know, 
you can see the numbers on the dashboard you can see me like hitting hitting the gas and you can see the bike goes but the, the best is just to describe it to you like what has happened with the bike like this with the with the pedal commander again I don't know how many times I said but it's crazy I mean definitely I will not use sport plus today I ain't no more touching that thing uh, probably what I will do after a couple of rides I will go to the sport plus four only not sport plus okay the bike the sensitivity you know it's not only like the bike goes like the response is right there like like you hit it and it's there like instantly like period all power there so like that's it's unbelievable feeling so by the way what I like I have gloves and the buttons are really like like buttons with the bump so it's very easy to navigate around guys today I will not do the app I have it installed the app is very simple it's intuitive but why I will simply not use it today because first of all I would like to enjoy this and second thing I need to have the pedal commander there for next month uh, just simply because I need to get used to it it will require a lot of practicing that's how crazy it is with the EQ coming back to that mode uh, they say you can improve your mileage and definitely because have uh, a look the bike you know accelerates very very smoothly and still I can go to the minus four which will be even more smooth so whoever likes to cruise and especially this is also for RT models so if you like to cruise and you like you are really focusing on your miles, miles per gallon uh, that's something you will be using but let's turn that off there is something like one kilometer long straight and I will turn the commander off and you will see how the bike goes basically and then I will put it to the sport plus plus four mode so the strongest that you can get and we will compare it with that and hopefully I will keep my pants clean <laughs> guys this is it uh what a day what a what an upgrade uh, i did several rides and i'm gonna do several more uh sport plus not for today i just uh, it will require for me to understand you know to get the feeling because really on a on a tiny you know like almost like an inch of the angle the bike starts to accelerate like completely crazy uh, hopefully you can get my feel from this video uh, I don't get anything from from selling this but I believe in case you would like to have a performance on your bike and also uh, because there is that EQ mode uh, you can see I'm riding on a city now <laughs> Martin the vlogger is riding on a city mode how sick is that so I really think it's the best in Western money into the upgrade you can get for the bike definitely and it doesn't mean if it's Riker if it's spider even if it's a, a, a slingshot so well, what a day what a morning guys thank you very much for watching if case you are not a subscriber hit the subscribe button have the notifications on and now most importantly remember don't turn the sport plus mode on your first ride and always have fun